ang Chinese government na bubuhos pa ang maraming infrastructure project sa bansa sa pagpasok ng bagong administrasyon. Ito'y matapos iginihit ni incoming President Ferdinand Bongo Marcos Jr. ang plano nitong ipagpatuloy ang Build, Build, Build program ni Pangulong Duterte. Yan ang tinutukan exclusive ng SMNI so report ni MJ Mondihan Live. MJ, magandang gabi! mas malalim na partnership at kooperasyon at pagkikipagkaibigan ang asahan ng mga Pilipino sa pagitan ng China at Pilipinas sa ilalim ng paparating na administrasyon. Nakita nitong Webes si late coming President Ferdinand Bongo Marcos Jr. at Chinese Ambassador to the Philippines Wang Zilian. Dala ni Ambassador Wang ang congratulatory note na ipinadala ni Chinese President Xi Jinping para sa ikalabing pitong pangulo ng bansa. Sa eksklusibong panayam ng SMN News ngayong araw, ipinahagi naman ni Ambassador Wang ang ilan sa kanilang napag-usapan ng bagong Pangulo. Of course, so I you know, deliver a message of congratulation from my President Xi Jinping to congratulate him on being elected as the 17th President of the Republic of the Philippines. And uh, of course, I also convey my personal, you know, best wishes and congratulations to him. And we also talked about the past. Kabilang sa binalikan nila BBM at Ambassador Wang ang nag-iambag ni dating Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos E. Sr. sa relasyon ng Pilipinas at China. Lalo na't binuksan raw ni Marcos Sr. ang bansa para makipagkaibigan sa China noong panahon ni Chinese leader Mao Zedong. Boma Marcos himself visited China for the first time when he was 17. So he was the one who visited China before we established diplomatic ties. So uh, he had a lot to share with me about his engagement with China and his family's engagement with China. And we also talked about uh, the current situation in the past six years, uh, how much we have achieved under the guidance of President Xi Jinping and President Duterte. We have achieved a lot in our relationship and, uh, and also, of course, we talk about the future. Isa ang China sa mga bubuhos ng pondo para sa Build, Build, Build program ni Pangulong Duterte. Mga tulay, kalsada at iba pang infrastructure projects. Lahat ng ito dahil sa magandang pagkakaibigan ni Pangulong Duterte at President Xi. The investment of China in this country has quadrupled. You know, in the past years, six years, compared with the previous six years. And of course, uh, as in terms of the government-to-government -government projects, we have uh, completed 16 projects, and uh, including the, you know, Pinondo Intramuros Bridge, you have been uh, familiar with. Uh, altogether, 16 projects have been completed and turned over to your country, and there are still uh, more than 2,000 projects, you know, that's uh, in progress uh, or in the pipeline. At dahil nangako si BBM na ipagpapatuloy ang infrastructure program ni Pangulong Duterte, nangako rin ang China ng mas maraming proyekto na ibubuhos sa bansa. Anyhow, we hope that uh, we will continue to consolidate or deepen our cooperation in terms of the uh, synergizing the Chinese, you know, the Belt and Road Initiative and the Build, Build, Build Program and, uh, you know, uh, National Development Program, you know, in the next uh, administration. So, uh, in the tourism sector, have there been any talks? Ambassador Wang, ang kooperasyon ng Pilipinas sa China sa turismo at paglika ng Virology Institute sa bansa. Samantala sa press conference ngayong araw, iginit ng kampo ni Bongo Marcos na si dating MMDA Chairman Ben Her Abalos ang susunod na DILG Secretary. 
Pinangalanan rin si Attorney Vic Rodriguez, former Congressman Anton Nagdameo, na idamping at Governor June Tamayo ng South Cotabato bilang mga miyembro ng transition team na makikipagdaya ng South-going administration. Anyhow, we hope that uh, we will continue to consolidate or deepen our cooperation in terms of the uh, synergizing the Chinese, you know, the Belt and Road Initiative and the Bill Bill Program and, uh, you know, uh, National Development Program, you know, in the next uh, administration. So, uh, in the tourism sector, uh, sana pag-usapan, tiniyak rin ng ambassador ng China sa Pilipinas na magkakaroon ng mas maraming turisto, mas maraming turista mula sa China na pupunta sa bansa, lalo ba't patapos na ang epekto ng pandemya at na umaasa sila na magtutuloy-tuloy ang pagbaba ng kaso ng COVID-19. Para sa